What's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So I'm over here at the shop, just got over here to Brian's. Been working on the race car a few minutes. Today is the moment of truth. We got our race coming up in Knoxville Dragway in two weeks. Well, actually it's less than two weeks now. It's about 10 days, I guess. Saturday, January the 14th. We've been fighting this thing. We got some current draw. The thing is kind of hard to start. So somebody mentioned in another video, I've been racing a long time and I know it too, but it's kind of one of those things you stick your head in the sand and you want to ignore it. Well, today I'm not going to ignore it. This is the oil filter. We pulled it off the car. I just cut it open. I have not looked inside yet. And so what we're looking for, this is the first time I pulled it apart with this new motor, uh, with the new crank rods. Hopefully there's going to be no material in there. There is a possibility that if it's starting to grab a main bearing or if it's grabbing a rod bearing, that we're going to have material in here. Now, you, this is the first time I pulled this thing off. This is the oil filter that I actually put on it when I cranked it up this last time. We've got now 9, 10, probably 10 passes or so, 11 passes. Uh, no, I think we got 9 passes total. So we don't have a lot of passes on the motor. So it's time. We're going to change the oil. Got some more Schaefer's oil, but we want to pull this apart. Uh, if there is material in here, then it's one of those things. We'll get it up on the lift. We'll pull the oil pan off of it, and then we will uh, roll some bearings in it, hopefully, if nothing is bad. Uh, it is dragging, turning over. Uh, it seems to be revving fine. Oil pressure seems to be fine. It seems to be nice and stable. So I'm hoping we just got a bad cell in the battery. Uh, it's possible we got a wiring issue. That Go Lithium battery is now two years old. Randy run it for a season. I run it for a season. There's a lot of people that don't really like them. Uh, but you know, we hadn't really had bad luck out of it. And it still cranks the car fine. It's just the voltage drop is kind of high. I've never had gauges. So I had never been able to notice that, but now I've got some gauges. And so, yeah, I'm able to notice the voltage drop and kind of, you can kind of hear it a little bit, but it does turn it over uh, reasonably good, especially when it gets warm. We're going to pull this thing apart and look at it. And I'll show you what we're looking for. Hopefully there's not going to be material in there. I will uh, Acceptable is a little bit because this is a brand new motor. So you may have a few flakes that we didn't get cleaned out real good last time. But if this thing's covered in metal, then we got a problem. We're going to have to pull the paint off. So we got plenty of time still though. The motor's still running. It still cranks up. It still runs. It's not knocking. It's not doing anything funny. So if it, hit, if it has started knocking out a bearing, then hopefully we will not have to completely disassemble the motor. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so I am wearing gloves just because I don't want to get oil in my, my finger here. So I've already got this thing cut apart. This is the oil filter cutter. Uh, Rodney, one of my buddies, got me this thing, and I used to cut them apart with just tin snips, and it was a pain in the butt. It got oil all over the place. But this one, uh, it works phenomenal. If you do not have one of these, I don't even know what name brand this one is, but it works phenomenal. It's like a can opener. And uh, you basically just put it on the top and you turn this thing and you turn the knob and you tighten it and then wrap it around and eventually it cuts off. So um, one thing I did notice though, something that we were hoping is we were gonna get a little bit cleaner oil from uh, this vacuum pump. And then right now it seems like that is the case. So it seems good. Now the way the oil flows through the oil filter so it screws in, of course, and then the oil goes through the outside holes here. It goes around on the outside of the filter, and then it goes filtered, and then the clean oil comes out through the middle. And you see it's got a spring down in there. Now, this is a regular Wix filter. I normally run a Wix a racing filter or a FL1A, uh, but they didn't have one when I, either one of those, the, the racing or the FL1A when I started. Uh, this thing up last time so that's what i put so i just put this thing in a vice easy enough you pull it out uh it is kind of squeezed okay i'm gonna put y'all on the tripod i'm gonna put y'all on the tripod real fast so we can handle this thing and actually look in it okay so here's the actual filter itself there's some oil in there but i, mean, I am definitely happy with how clean the oil is the oil is much cleaner than it was before Okay, now's a, a time where you would see potentially a bunch of glitter. I don't see any glitter yet. This is, uh, it has got some contamination in it from methanol. It was green like this. This is old Brad Penn. So it's definitely a little bit lighter color. Flush a little bit of it out. 
we want to get the oil out, but we want to leave any of the material that is potentially in there. If there's any in there. Let's see if the bait tongue can eat this up just a little bit. see some bubbles and I don't see a lot of material there so that's good and the clean oil should be here so the filter where you're looking at where you're going to look for material will be in these in these pleats Now, is it possible that I didn't clean, get everything out of the oil pan? Sure, from the last blow up or out of the block. Absolutely possible. But it's also absolutely possible that we're just knocking the bearings out of it. See the chunks down in there. Now, granted, it's not a ton. I also got some silicone in there. That's some trash, which is normal. Okay, let's go drain the oil out of the rest of the the motor and see what it looks like all right guys so just got all the oil out and there's nothing really floating in it there's a few pieces of trash and those that look like pieces of metal those are air bubbles or condensation methanol condensation uh, i don't see any actual like bare material i got brian to look at the there's a couple let's see there's a big air bubble right there having a hard time focusing on it so we may have just had thrust seems fine in the crankshaft we just push that forward and backwards that doesn't seem like an issue uh seems like maybe there was just some leftover there's a lot of that stuff also i didn't have my glasses on brian was looking at it he's like dude that's silicone and he was right it was pieces of silicone from where we cleaned it previously so this is definitely got a little bit of uh methanol condensation but it's not as bad as it normally is without the vacuum pump i'm gonna pour this into another container and i'm gonna check the bottom of the pan because any metal <laughs> should have sunk down to the bottom so this is the filter so me and brian looked at it he had his glasses on and i did not have mine on and now i got them on and let's see if i can get it to zoom in a little bit better i'm holding the camera here um <laughs> there's a lot of this stuff that is silicone like that big piece down in there and now you're getting a lot of reflection that you're not, that is actually just oil down in there. But that big piece right there I thought was metal. That's a piece of silicone. So there's a lot of silicone. So it's definitely where we didn't clean everything real good. And it's hard to get it perfect. Um, there is a couple pieces of, of material we were able to get out, but most of it is, is silicone and a couple little pieces of, of trash. So, Draining the oil, I'm going to show you what the oil looked like in the pan. Uh, I saw nothing in the pan. Uh, oil separated pretty good. Uh, so look, look, that's all silicone. So I think we're okay. At first, I was pretty pretty worried. But, I mean, all that is the silicone. Pretty big piece of gray silicone. So we used black, too. So there's a couple pieces of metal down in there. But this is not... As bad as what I thought. So I think we're I think we're in good shape. So here's the pan. I dumped it off into this pan to start with and then I poured it over here. And it's really hard to see, but there's some air bubbles in it. But there is all that stuff is air bubbles popping up and it's the methanol coming out 
of the motor uh, condensation and methanol goes to the bottom of the pan so that's what this is down here so our metal would have been down here and i ran my finger through it a few minutes ago and there's not any in the pan uh, so i think we're okay which is fantastic news so new uh shaper's oil will be here next couple days so we'll put the new filter on it and then we'll put 10 quarts oil in it and then we're going to let it roll um, i think i decided i'm going to send my accumulator back um, I'm, I'm just not comfortable mounting it up here i think that's a, a bad idea just for multiple reasons. If I get in a crash or if I don't get in a crash, what if it ruptures? What if my line comes loose? I mean, then I oil down the track and then I crash my car because it was up here in the front. So not feeling it. So we're going to just run a couple quarts extra of oil and hopefully we'll be fine. So I think we're okay. I was really nervous earlier, uh, but I think we're okay. Brian, you know, he's he's pulled a bunch of, bun bunch, a bunch, a bunch of filters apart. And he's got a pretty good idea of when something's bad. We're going to check it again next time, though. So I think we're good definitely to make the next race. We're going to go to Knoxville. And then uh, once we get done with that, we'll drain the oil out of it, cut the filter apart again, and we'll see what we got. Uh, if we still have bearing material in the filter after that, I'm probably going to say we are eating a bearing up. Uh, but I don't think we are at the moment. So, all right, guys, well, comment, like, and subscribe.